The metal working department is the start of everything. It starts with steel plates, bar, tubing. If that goes wrong, everything else will be wrong. So you need good machines that are well maintained. In the metalworking department, there are mainly two steps, cutting and bending. Cutting is a very important step in the manufacturing process, since the parts that come out of it are the main components of our products. To begin, the cutter operator selects the part nesting program. The nesting program is a drawing of the steel plate where the parts have been previously positioned in order to waste as little material as possible. Then, according to the steel plate thickness and grade on the work order, the operator selects the appropriate steel plate and places it on the cutter. The first piece is then cut with one nozzle. The operator will then verify that the part is correct before continuing to cut the plate. The plasma cutter can cut through plates up to two inches thick, while the oxypropane cutter can cut through plates up to six inches thick. The temperature generated by the electric arc of the plasma cutter is approximately 32,000 degrees Fahrenheit. Each week, about 60 plates are cut at the St. Justine plant. Once the plate is completely cut, the skeleton is removed, and the resulting parts from the cut are then sent to be deburred. Many years ago, there were two kids. I was just grinding the edges of the plates that we just cut so they're not so sharp. And somebody came up with an idea. That what if we um, put these small pieces of steel in a drum and make them tumble in, in that drum? And in that process, they will bevel themselves up. We'll save all that operation. And somebody just bought an old tractor tire from a farmer and put it on an electric motor. Sure enough, it worked. It probably cost less than a hundred bucks overall. And now to this day, 20 years later, we still have a tractor wheel spinning uh, with steel parts in them. Once the parts have been deburred, they're sorted on carts at the press brakes based on the date and the bending radius. The operator validates the part by measuring it and selects the program according to the indication on the work order. The operator inserts the die and punch and performs the bending process. The press brakes are digitally controlled, which means that, with the help of a laser, the machine corrects the bend in real time according to the response of the steel to ensure higher precision. The operator will then use a jig or other measuring tool to validate that the part is properly shaped. At Rotobeck, we have more than 1,500 jigs that are used to make these verifications. We have two press brakes in this department, one of 250 tons and one of 500 tons.